Hi, my name is Natalie. My name is Daniel Koss. Hi, I'm Ethan. Hi, my name is Yves Lott. My name is Alexa. My name is Angel. Hi, my name is Sydney Chan. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Ronan, and together we are the District 7 Youth Council. We are a collective of youth based in SF, focused on identifying and solving problems we see around our own District 7 as well as the city. As a measure that will give all 16-year-olds the right to vote, vote 16 to elect to us as a vital step towards youth empowerment. Vote 16 affects me personally because I work just like many other teenagers and pay taxes. There's this policy called taxation without representation, which states that if you pay taxes, you should have a say as to who represents you in your communities. However, we pay taxes for government officials and we are not able to vote. I believe that we should be able to vote in elections on issues that affect us and things and people who affect us, like especially, for example, school officials. Um, we should be able to choose who we want to represent us in our schools. I support Vote 16 because I believe that voting is a crucial part of being an American citizen and even more a part of my future and that of my peers. As a 16 year old, my future is riding in the hands of adults. We should be allowed to vote in local elections because we are the people who are the most impacted by the outcomes. The future is in our hands. Pressing issues like climate change and pollution threaten our lives and generations to come, and it's up to us to find solutions. Since we are the ones affected by this, we should have a say in who creates the laws and what types of laws are passed. This is a chance for us to pave our future instead of letting others decide for us. High school juniors and seniors are studying U.S. history and government in their classrooms. If they can vote through Vote 16, they will see that they are able to impact American history and government in the real world, too. I believe that expanding voting rights wouldn't be a waste at all because young people are very eager to help their communities and are already politically engaged. We participate in political clubs, we participate in protests, and many political movements are youth-led, like climate strikes and the March for Our Lives. If 16 and 17 year olds have the ability to vote, they are more likely to become lifelong voters. Schools will be able to put pressure on their students to vote and will be more likely to discuss local politics in the classroom because their students will be able to make a direct impact. If Vote 16 passes, it would give 16 and 17 year olds more representation. As kids, our voices aren't always heard and this would help us voice our opinions to help make the community a better place. We would be able to improve systems that directly affect us like education and climate change. Overall, this is more than getting 16 to 17 year olds to vote. It's about empowering and inspiring our generation to make a difference in the world and it's about changing the culture in this country to promote a more civically engaged community. When you vote this November, remember that your vote matters and to vote in support of Vote 16.